Nice to see not any 3D funny art tonight. Uh, yeah, we've just got some good. cool, good quality 2D, the old fashioned NFTs. We've got old fashioned NFTs. <laughs> well, Elio, Elio's is different. Elio's is a 3D, but it's, it's a, a different situation altogether. So, guys, I've got for you Rubber Duck Bath Party. Unfortunately, with this one, I'm not in the Discord and I do not have. Um, whitelists like I did for the other one to give Moreland or you guys but um, basically I'm seeing this project everywhere 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 all my alpha groups all everyone everyone everywhere you got rubber duck bath party guys now you're going to get a duck and then your duck is going to get drunk and go to a party and then not remember what it did the next day and depending on what it did the next day either come back worse off or better off than it was. And I just think, you know, it's a bit of a refreshing, um, a bit of a refreshing, um, you know, take on everything um, in this very serious world. But <laughs> really the reason that it's on my radar is just because I've seen it in almost every single alpha group that I'm in. Everyone seems to be predicting that it's going to be doing very, very well. That doesn't mean that it is. Um, in the end of the day, there are some that have been predicted to be incredible, like Al Capone. Um, that has been a huge flop. So please do not sell your mother's car to and tell her you will get back the money tomorrow and buy into any project, let alone um, one that doesn't have established past. However, um, it, it is notable and there is a nice team. Um, so I'll just take you to the website. You can see all the ducks are having a bath party, as the name suggests. Um, 10,000 <laughs> 10, collection uh, uh, launching on the 1st of March, as we said. And then I'll just read it to you in case you're on your phone. Every once in a while, your duck will be invited to a bath party, as, as ducks do. Uh, as I was just giving you mine, and, and they, go on, they go on to say, as great parties go, your duck might go home with a third eye, a rare crown, a regrettable tattoo, or a refreshed background. However, your duck, your duck might not get too high and could lose that special pearl necklace in the bathroom. Give their beanie to their crush or even end up naked. As a responsible duck parent, the decision is yours. Keep your duck at home or take your chance and let them have fun. So this is a That's very cool. interesting gamification right because yeah. you can either gain traits uh your your nft can either gain traits uh like or accessories by going to these parties or possibly lose traits or accessories by going to these parties and that will all change on chain so like when you wake up tomorrow, your duck's going to have a new set of earrings or no necklace that it used to have right which is i don't know just something That's different cool. something cool yeah, no, that's really cool. Um, I have seen NFTs change on chain before, um, and uh, not always meaning that they have been successful. So I've got a couple hidden away um, in my hidden folder because they haven't gone past 0 0.01 for seven months. They're basically aged over time as you went through so changed on chain so you know definitely um uh interesting take on it how they doing it for sure and i haven't seen another project as hyped as this doing this so i do think there's many people that don't know the one was floaties which um degenerated over time and there were the other one was when the when the crypto punks were in photo frames and they constantly changed the background. There was another Australian bear one, which is still around at a very low floor price where you could change stuff. Um, but this is a different take on it. And again, I think a lot of people won't have ever experienced this before. Okay, so what are rubber ducks? It's a collection of 10,000 NFTs made up of 200 and different traits. ERC721 token which is a Ethereum token, um, just the standard one, uh, not the optimized one. Okay, Discord and Twitter. We've looked at Twitter. We can't get into Discord. There will be a raffle mint on the 2nd of March, um, and I imagine that the sign-up for raffle would be pretty soon. So keep your eyes open for that. Um, they haven't announced when the first party is. There's no cost to go to the party. Um, it's your choice if you send your duck to the party. So obviously, if you've got a duck with no accessories, send your duck to the party. If you've got a duck that's like you get it, it's got a crown and earrings and a necklace and everything, rare. a beautiful watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would keep my duck home, right? Yeah, I um, don't want to lose go. any valuables. Exactly. I love it. That's so cool. 
and I could I don't I don't know for sure, but I could definitely see there being rewards for attending the parties other than uh, changing your your duck, right? Like other yeah. than the chance at getting rare attributes, like could be a way of yielding so a token probably give or you something proof of attendance I don't yeah know if you've seen those yeah, yeah the pop drops yep how do you pronounce that po app po app i think yeah it would be yeah proof of attendance token yeah so yeah just to jump into the guys who are listed on the team um yeah you've got your shy he's got eight thousand six hundred followers also you know you talking a lot about uh he's he's registered for wonder pals isn't that interesting <laughs> the one you just the one yeah. you just covered um he's also got himself a mf so definitely involved in the space mf is at over five ETH. i know it's wild it's so yeah. wild and then you've got gull Shear here um that's the artist very, correct yeah very big following over here, 103,000, a very, very notable artist. Um, he's done a lot of work on other NFT projects. Um, he has quite cool. I wanted to show you guys who are the sound you don't have. It's cool to see oh, the right. artist process. I always yeah. enjoy these videos. I also like them. You know, sort of, you know, keep watching them forever. How cool are those bubbles? It's a really different way of doing the art too. Like the lines aren't solid. They're kind of dotted and it just adds a different uniqueness to the art. Yeah. I haven't seen that necessarily in the it's space. It's very cool. I mean, uh, again, something new in a very saturated space at the moment. It's been the same thing after the same thing. Really nice to have it. Um, I, I wish I was in the Discord. I wish I had, uh, you know, some access to it because I do think it's going to blow up. I think the question more becomes, and this is a general question for hyped projects, are they going to stay or are they not? Are they, you know, we, we've we seen Hate, Hate Beast now sitting at a 2 ETH floor from a tie of an 11 ETH. Um, and, uh, you know, it's always difficult with hype projects to to live up to the hype. I'm not saying that this is as hyped as Hate Beast, um, but I do think that, um, you know, it's going to be interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. That's as simple as that. Um, important to remember, nine out of 10 projects, will they be here in a year or not? I don't know. Will this one? I really don't know. But it is something interesting with notable guys behind it, fully doxxed, and it does have a lot of uh, a lot of hype. 